All right, I'm going to show you what I got right here. This is my system. Right now, I have this uh, multimeter hooked up to the CPU. Uh, voltage points on the motherboard. The motherboard is an Asus Crosshair 5 formula. I do have the FX 8120 underneath this water block here. My RAM is uh, Corsair Dominator GT 1866 speed. My video cards here, I have two XFX 6790s in Crossfire. Power supply, Corsair TX750 V2. My, I have a Zalman fan controller here, which displays power consumption on the front there, but this is coming from the wall. This is not what the CPU is using. The hard drives, I have an SSD, OCZ, a GLD3, 60 gigabytes for my LS. I have another HDD, 1.5 terabyte, and a 750 gigabyte, both 6 gigabit per second. The water cooler that I have here is an H80 Corsair Hydro Series liquid CPU cooler and the fans that I have push-pull on it are ProTechnic um, I don't know the model number but they max speed max RPM is 3600 and max uh, cubic feet per minute 225 so there's some pretty powerful fans. Uh, I do have a unique, unique uh, cooling system here. I'll show you. Now this I did custom right here. I have a four-inch. It's actually a dryer hose connected to my rear fan here. That's blowing, pushing into the radiator, and it. I have it run into the outside. This is my window here, so it's pulling in outside air. Right now it's about 35 degrees outside Fahrenheit. So, and you'd actually be surprised about how, mu how much cooler this runs because of this. You might think this is kind of stupid, but my processor actually runs about uh, at the temperature now, around 35, 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside, it drops probably about 10 degrees Celsius, maybe 15. So, I think twice before calling it stupid. Like I said, I have my multimeter hooked up right here to the voltage points on the motherboard. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a little bit of overclocking here right now. I'm in the BIOS. Um, as you can see here, my processor FX8120, 8 core, um, total memory 8 gigabytes, BIOS version 9920, and right now I have the system at 4.6 gigahertz. But we're gonna see how far we can push this processor. Um, I'm not a professional overclocker, but let's see what I can do here. I'm going to jump this up to 24.5 so we can go target CPU speed 4.9 gigahertz. Um, right now, earlier I was messing with uh, CPU frequency and HT link frequency 24 and 2600. Um, I really didn't see a performance increase or decrease while doing this but we may mess with that a little bit later right now I'll just stick them on auto and also I wanted to tell you I have another 8120 sitting right here I don't know if you can see that it might be kinda let's see if I can
Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it's an 8122. Anyway, uh, I will be comparing the two. I have one in the system, as, as I showed you, and one sitting right here. Uh, I just got this one the other day. I haven't tested it out yet. Um, I do want to compare the two to make sure uh, the one that I've had has been performing um, as it should. Uh, I had another one sent in uh, probably about a couple weeks ago and I actually threw it, I installed it and the stock voltage was 0.1 volts under what it should have been and it was heating up way too much when I overclocked it at like 4.5, 4.6 so I just returned that one and had him send me another one okay um alright so we're at uh, 4.9 gigahertz like I said I'm gonna stick with I'm just trying to figure out um, the the best uh, the best performance for the CPU only so I'm gonna leave the see the front side bus here at 200 megahertz stock ramps at 1866 as you can see I have uh, both spread spectrums disabled uh, in this BIOS there's just extreme tweaking I have it enabled it says if I, if I give this a look, highlight it it says may help improve some benchmarks performance I don't know how well that works but anyway uh, right now uh, I, for some reason I don't have these set actually it's better than the specs for my RAM so where they're at now um, it's at 99924. The specs for the RAM 1866 are actually 910927. And you can see right now, current memory frequency 1866. So it actually has them running faster than their specs. Um, right now I have the CPU voltage. One point, I don't know if you can see it, it's yellow. 1.475. You can see here on the multimeter 1.48. Here it's showing 1.476. I got the CPU north bridge voltage at 1.4. Um, and let's see, I got the RAM voltage knocked up a bit. It's supposed to be 1.5, but I got it at 1.25 because I was messing with the front side bus and the RAM overclocking a little bit earlier. But, uh, and I got the north bridge from 1.1 to 1.15, so it's up a little bit. Uh, in advanced settings here, I'll just show you. Um, there's the AMD Cool and Quiet C1E. Uh, it's, that's a power saver. This is a virtualization, another power saver, uh, high performance computing, which I really haven't found an answer for exactly what it does um, and this is another power saving so I just have them all disabled here you can see uh, the specs on the processor 8120 running at 4.6 megahertz uh, I don't know why it's showing 1.3 volts um, that's stock voltage anyway um, so that's that's where that's at right now uh, let's see if I show you anything else in the BIOS before we continue. Um, no, I think that's about oh, the, the DigiVRM here, which is where uh, ASUS's um, load line calibration for the CPU and CPU North Bridge is. I was actually um, uh, the first time I got uh, started overclocking this bulldozer um, I watched that video on Newegg where JJ was overclocking and he was actually setting this CPU voltage over current protection to about 120 but then I found out um, after a few weeks of testing that that actually decreases its overclocking capability so I disabled it um, 